everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Get Crafty Photographers. My name is Christina Kraft and I've been a professional photographer and instructor for the last 11 years. Because I do this for a living, I'm always trying to figure out ways to challenge myself, experiment, try new things, and that's why I created this show. I want to create a community where we do arty, fun things, experiment, get ourselves out of our comfort zone, try to do some new things that we can incorporate into our regular work, our street photography, boudoir, portrait, wedding, whatever it is you happen to shoot, and share it with each other. I'm a big photography nerd. I like to around, play with things, experiment with hacks, try to make my job a little bit more creative and challenging at all times. Today I'm going to do some experimenting with a technique that is known by a few different terms, motion blur, but with a little bit of shutter drag. So it's intentional moving the camera so that you create a painterly, impressionist style image that you can hang on your wall as wall art. Now I do this a lot with my street photography. I like to get out there and try like just incorporating something just a little bit different, something that you're not necessarily expecting. If you hear a term you don't recognize, don't fear. Everything's on GetCraftyPhotographers.com. There's a whole whack of materials on there. Just go check it out. So right now, we are in the jungle in Costa Rica. That's why I'm sweating. But it's beautiful. And we're going to go down to the beach and we're going to experiment with shutter drag, motion blur, intentional movement, whatever you want to call it. So let's get crafty. So let's get crafty. So let's get crafty. Hey everybody, welcome to beautiful Manuel Antonio, Costa Rica! Yay! We're gonna play with some waves and we're gonna play with some trees. Costa Rica! <laughs> Just giving some takeaways. Woo! Very well. Okay. We're going to just experiment today. This is something that you'll do either on shutter priority or in manual mode. I got out of breath from all the jumping. <laughs> Sorry. So to do this kind of slow motion blur photography, you're going to want to have a lens that can hopefully go up to around f22, f32. If you don't and you're not able to slow down your shutter speed enough, and if your camera's giving you that kind of annoying thing that says that you're overexposing, sometimes you can use that to your advantage. Sometimes a nice overexposed image can be really beautiful. We're gonna be experimenting a little bit and we're gonna post the settings up for you to see. I'm gonna be moving the camera in various ways for a complete pan where I'm following the actual action. I want to be as slow or as fast as the actual movement. If I'm going to be doing something maybe a little bit more creative, I might actually move my camera a little bit while I'm clicking. So while it's actually clicking, the shutter's going to drag. So I can go up and down if I'm going to be taking pictures of the trees. If I'm going to be taking pictures of the ocean waves, it might be a little circular. And it's really, it's not like this. You know, that's just maybe a little bit too fast, but you'll get like a really cool watercolor effect. If you just go a little slower, still gonna get some beautiful, beautiful motion blur with your camera. Let's see how many pictures that look unique. Just taking a photo of one thing, that's the waves. And then the other thing, that's the trees. And let's just see what I can get in a 10 minute period. During this time, I ended up shooting with a Nikkor 24-70 2.8 lens. I was using a Hoya polarizer, which allowed me to stop down by one full stop of light. And I ended up shooting at a shutter speed of one-tenth of a second. We did it! Okay, so let's do some trees! Now I'm going to take some photos of the trees and I'm basically just going to paint with my camera. It's on a tenth of a second, F14, ISO 100, and I have a circular polarizer on. It's around three in the afternoon, so we still have quite a bit of light in the sky. So we're just gonna play around with this little set of trees here and then we're gonna go down the beach a little bit where there's some palm. And we're gonna experiment with some palm trees. trees we're gonna have some palm tree fun with this camera motion blur yeah 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 that's my motion blur song those palm trees have such pretty graphic patterns 
I'll go up the tree a little. And I'm gonna get in a little closer to some of these leaf patterns. And then I'm gonna turn it around a little bit, just for fun. So now it's your turn to try this out. I'd like us all to share our photos. I'm going to share mine. I'd love to see yours. Please hashtag your photos on social media with Get Crafty Photographers. And that way I can see what you took and we can share and exchange ideas and have some fun. Because photography's fun! And if you'd like to see how these photos were edited, just check out getcraftyphotographers.com because I've got another video that shows you how I edited them. Now, I have a little personal philosophy when it comes to this kind of photo. I don't like to do necessarily composites. I like to achieve stuff within the camera. I'm a little bit of a dork that way. Yes, I will polish them up in Lightroom, but otherwise I just kind of leave them as they are. I just make a better version of what actually came out of the camera. If you like this, I would so appreciate it if you subscribed and liked, pushed all the buttons below, handle all the things right here. If you have any ideas for future episodes, please leave them in the comments below. I'm excited to see what you shot. Come back again, y'all. Here, y'all. No, that's not how it goes. Come back again, y'all. You hear? Something like that. I don't know.